Alright, hey YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to show you how to rip and burn DVDs. Please excuse this. Uh, alrighty. So to rip and burn DVDs, you need three pieces of software. You need, you need four, I'm sorry. You need ISO Recorder. Then you need this one, Burnerware Free Edition, for burning your DVDs. Uh, you need DVD Shrink to rip them. And DVD Fab to back up uh, this piece of software. Because this is like about, this will rip about 98% of your movies. And if it doesn't, then you go to DVD Fab. Alrighty, so I'm going to put in here American History X. A uh, really good movie. And I will show you how to rip. So, first piece of software you need is DVD Shrink. So you just open up DVD Shrink. Oh, oops. You open up DVD Shrink, and then you pop in your DVD. I just did. I don't think you can hurt. You, uh, I don't know if you heard it, but it makes a funky noise because I have this crappy Dell XPS and 1530, and it's not the best laptop. Should have got a Mac. <laughs> Uh, okay, so once this the, the DVD is loaded, you go here to open disk. You open the disk, and it will, you know, you just choose your drive. Mine's in drive E. And you just hit OK, and it's going to analyze it and check for, you know, encryption. As you can see, it's analyzing. It's encrypted. And it's going to take about a few seconds, so just hold on just a sec. Oh yeah, and if you guys wish to add me on Skype, this is my Skype name, sbaron one I don't care, add me if you want to call, call me, annoy me, don't matter. Hmm. <whistles> Can't whistle. Grr. Uh, 30 seconds. Hang in there. Almost done. Expect about 20 to 25 minutes to rip a DVD. It takes quite a bit, but it burns them very well. Very well. They look very good. Alrighty, see, so it analyzed it okay, and it's going to be able to burn, I mean, rip to your drive successfully. As you can see here, DVD shrink you can use to either take crap out, like English. I mean, I do need this, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, sub picture English, yeah, I'll leave that. Extras, do I need my extras? Sure, I'll leave the extras. You know, you can just go and delete crap you don't need to um, reduce the amount of space this DVD is going to take. But yeah, then afterwards, you just hit backup. And here you will choose, instead of hard disk folder, you choose ISO image. ISO image file. And then you choose the destination. Then you hit OK. I'm not going to do it because I already have it here in my... Oh, where is it? Hmm. Oh, here it is. It should be right here, see? It will look like this. It's going to look like a little disk, a virtual CD. And it's going to say the name, whatever you typed in. So you can see I have a buttload of DVDs. Not a lot, but, you know, it's a lot. It's about, I don't know, like 200 gigs worth. And once it's there, you can choose either to burn them, uh, burn them or just keep them in your, in your drive. <laughs> and to burn, it's really easy. I, sorry, I don't have a blank DVD to show you guys, but... Mm, hopefully you guys can, you know, bear with me. Uh, and here's Burnerware Free. And you s it's very simple. Um, see, it's <laughs> create data disk, burn ISO image, audio CD, DVD, whatever. And you can also erase disks. Very simple. And it's don't do don't go to burn DVD video files. Go to burn ISO image. And once that you get here, it's just it's as easy as browsing for the file. Uh, mine's in my external hard drive, so I'm gonna go to my book, my movies. Oops. And then I uh, just choose American History X. I open it, 
and then you just hit this big red button and it will start burning to your DVD and expect a good 20 to 26 minutes depending on how fast you choose it you choose for it to burn and it should be it's that easy that easy you don't need DVD shrink anymore after you burnt you've ripped it and it's that easy and I'll put the links to the piece to the software later on I just can't remember them right now uh, sorry guys so hope the video was helpful and see you guys later peace